Hey everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy and this is a hopefully a quick video. Um, a subscriber asked me how I sew in my signatures and I always use, majority of the time I use what they call a three hole pamphlet stitch, okay? Basically it's three holes into the spine of your book. Um, three holes per signature. So this is a single signature journal. That means it only has one signature, okay? That means it's one group of pages that are folded, okay? And I've sewed it in with just three holes, all right? If you have multiple signatures, that means more than one grouping of pages, that means if I have a second one, you have to have three more holes and sew them in. With that, you need a spine, okay? So just to be aware, what I'm showing you is just for a single signature journal, okay? It only has one signature with th three holes, all right? So for that, I'm gonna use all I'm going to use is a greeting card, okay? So you're going to pretend like this is the cover. And here's my signature paper. In fact, one's a little long, so on my fake <laughs> little book. All right. <laughs> so you have your papers in the order you want. But I do. Now you can do it two ways. You can punch your holes first in the spine, okay? or punch your holes first in your paper, or if they're not that thick and you think you can go all the way through, um, I will punch my holes all together all at once, okay? So, let me show you how I, I just do that. Once you get your cover done, and I lay my papers in just like this, all right, I'll clamp it, or I'll use um, paper clips, okay? And that will hold it in okay and then you'll have your markings you'll need three holes pretty evenly apart okay I'll just randomly do it right now all right so you'll have three holes right down the center now if you have a crop -a dial or a hole puncher you can use that if you don't you can use this little pointy thing called an awl a w l all right and what I do is you just hold firmly and poke and it'll go right through, see, right through and you just poke it through all three holes. Okay. Oops. Well, I just moved that one. Oh, well. And it's a good thing more to paper clip it all down. <laughs> so once you get your three holes all the way through, you're going to sew them in place. All right, but let me take this off. All right, so keep everything, you know, clamped together. So if you want to actually see the sewing, the rule is, and this is a rule, <laughs> so whatever you use to sew, twine, embroidery floss, ribbon, whatever, okay, it's three times the length. So you grab the end and you measure one, two, oops, three. Okay. That's the basis. All right. So, and then you need a, a, a needle, whatever needle you have that you can thread and work. I use a big darning needle. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than what I need, it for, but it'll work. All right. So you thread it. So you can go either way. You can go through the inside or through the outside if you go in through the inside the tails will hang in the middle of your book if you go from the outside the tails the ends of your string will hang on the outside which you might like because then you can add little charms or beads on the outside and it'll, oops and it'll dangle from your spine if you want it from the inside you can do the same so what you're going to do is you're going to go through the center hole all right, the center hole on your pages and the center hole on your cover. All right, you're going to go through just like that. You're going to pull it out and then to see your tail here. 
basically I will hold it with my left hand, my thumb. I'll hold it. You just don't want to pull it all the way through and have to go again. <laughs> all right. So after you pull it through the middle, come up to the top hole on the back side. All right. Come up through the top hole. Oh, did I, where is my hole? Oh, there it is. All right. Come up through this, <laughs> come up through the top hole, go through all your pages oops i'm losing it i'm losing it let me grab it okay so, come up to that top hole and pull your your thread through okay make sure this tail doesn't disappear on you all right so now we're back in the center we're going to go all the way down to this bottom hole and darn i shifted everything hopefully you have everything paper clipped because i didn't keep mine because i was thinking it'd be easy since, uh, um, uh, since this is just a greeting card. Anyway, all right. So you come down to that very bottom hole. All right. Pull your thread through. All right. Give it a little tug. All right. So you still have your tail. Now. You're going to come back on the back side and then you're so you're going to come up and go back through that center hole okay center hole and pull up all right this is where you can get rid of your needle so i put that away and then what i like to do is one one piece goes on one side and then the other end goes under and over to this side okay so you have this string in the middle and you have one on each side all right now this is where you give it a tug okay and you want to look on the back make sure it's you don't want it so tight it's gonna warp your book um, but you don't want it so loose that your pages are loosey-goosey, okay? So just give it a couple good tugs. Make sure they're not gaping, okay? And then all you do is make a couple knots. Let me make my knots. And here you can either cut them, which what I will do is I'll just cut them. And then so you'll have that there. Or you can leave these dangle and add little charms, okay? So when that's done, you fold, you know, make sure. So I usually kind of go through my pa papers and make sure everything is creased and folded and so it'll open easier. So I'll go through and just, you know, make sure they're creased. So this way, now <laughs> I've got the sample <laughs> journal. <laughs> So I have a single, this is a single signature with a three hole pamphlet stitch. So now my signatures are sewed in and that's it. Now, if I was adding multiple signatures, I would just do the same thing. I would um, add my signatures and poke my holes and just keep adding them. Now, sometimes when you're doing a wide spine, it's you're gonna have to mark your holes and poke your holes through your spine first okay and then poke your holes through your signature you know make sure they're all in the right spot um, sometimes you just can't go through them all at the same time it's just not possible but the three hole pamphlet stitch that's how it's sewn in and um, hopefully I didn't confuse you <laughs> But that's how I sew my signatures in. Um, actually, this is kind of a neat idea to do a greeting card, a uh, little journal. I'll have to remember this. I was going to throw this away because I didn't like how my napkin layered up and how it turned out. <laughs> so, anyway, um, if you don't, oh, if you don't have an all, you can um, try to use a hole punch usually you can get them in far enough for the size with the middle one maybe like a like the screwdriver that's what kind of screwdriver has the 
more not the flathead is it a phillips anyway the tiny ones uh however you need to make your holes and then that's how you sew them in all right well hopefully i didn't fumble that too fast um and hopefully that's what you meant when you wanted to see how the signature how i put my signature in um otherwise i'll use a sewing something like this how thin it is i would have sewed it in my sewing machine <laughs> um but then again you can do this and you know make charms and stuff i don't know you can do all sorts of things <laughs> but that is my version of sewing in a signature and if you have any questions let me know <laughs> thanks for watching i appreciate it bye